<laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Samira uh, from the Lux uh, Quantum uh, startup company in the Luxembourg. And today I'm going to talk about the quantum cybersecurity, which is the play uh, a big role in the securing the future. Okay, in today's presentation, I'm going to um, uh, talk about the rise of the quantum computer, then the uh, security challenging in the quantum area, the solution which is available right now, and then the challenges uh, for each solution which is currently available, then the investment in the quantum uh, research and innovation, and the problem which is the interoperability problem uh, right now and then our objective and our goal and at the end I'm going to talk about the summary of my talk. So, as you see in the figure, uh, uh, there is a quantum computer uh, and the, raise, uh, the quantum computer is use the quantum mechanism in order to solve the complex problem. As you know, the classical computer is use a bit which is zero and one but the uh, quantum computer use qubit, which is uh, there is a probability uh, between zero and one is like zero till hundred percent. There is a probability, and at the same time, they could be either one, zero and one simultaneously. The, the qubit uh, can represent and and store multiple state at the same time. So. Uh, in order uh, for so because of some quantum phenomena like uh, superposition, entanglement, and observation, this is enabled to the uh, quantum computer become millions times faster. So, I'm going to say some key feature of the quantum computer. As I mentioned, quantum computer are millions times faster than the normal computer. It's because of the super uh, superposition. Superposition is it means that the uh, qubit could be at the same time 0, 1, 1 simultaneously. So this feature uh, allows the quantum computer to process a vast amount of data at the same time. Another feature is the entanglement. So changing the qubit is going to be, uh, changing one qubit is going to be effect and change the other qubit, even over the distance. So that's why uh, they are going to be enhance the power of the computation in the quantum computers. An observation. Measuring and observing the state of the quantum is going to be change the value. So, for example, that means that if you read the data, then the data is going to be changed. So that's the reason they could like detect the EVA dropping, and if somebody read your data, they are going to be uh, knows that. So based on this feature, the quantum computer can solve the complex problem. For example, in the cybersecurity, they could uh, break the, uh, the tradition. They, they could break the traditional method uh, method by the quantum computer. That's the reason we need the quantum computer for uh, in order to protect uh, us against the quantum. Another feature of the quantum computer is the sustainability. Since they could solve the problem faster. So this is more uh, energy efficiency. Now, let's see that quantum computer is not anymore the future, is now. Uh, for example, in the Luxembourg, just two days ago, they announced that the Luxembourg is going to be host a quantum computer. They call it Meluxina Q. And this computer is going to be in 10 qubit at the initial, but it's going to be developed uh, and the uh, the technology is, is based on the SPNQ. This is the program, the Euro, uh, HPC, which is like initiated this uh, program. Also, there is uh, several other projects ongoing on the Europe. For example, in the Poland, there's going to be have the quantum computer, which called EuroQCI. They are focusing on the material science, machine learning, the optimization. Or in the, uh, France, there are quantum computer they call uh, Lucy. They are uh, focusing on the um, electromagnetic simulation and Earth observation. And in Czechia, they, they have a LumiQ, uh, which is uh, like focusing on the application like uh, star, topology, uh, star topology. And also in the Germany, uh, they announced, the, like last month, they announced that there are an agreement with the, uh, with the 
IQM company in order to create two quantum computers in two years. One of them is 55 qubit, another one is 150 qubit. But the thing is that already we have the um, quantum computer. As you see in the figure, this is the uh, quantum computer in, the, in France, which is a five qubit and is used for the research and innovation. It's like nowadays we have the quantum computer. But now let's see the security challenges in the quantum area. Uh, as we see, if the quantum computer is uh, coming, we have a vulnerability of the classical crypt encryption. We, uh, the, most, the classical cryptography are, relies on the mathematical uh, algorithm like, like large number factorization. But once the quantum computer is coming, so they can break Im immediately and easily these uh, algorithm, and that's the reason uh, we need the, this is one challenge we will be facing. And also, uh, nowadays, we use in our online banking, our secure communication, digital signification, we, we use the public key cryptography. But the thing is, is that quantum computer could break easily this, and this is like uh, one of the major security risks for us. And another challenges we will have it, uh, the thing is that we could store our encrypted data and then uh, later on decrypted based on the quantum. So the data which is now secure is going to be uh, vulnerable in the future. And the thing is that nowadays they are like going to develop the large scale quantum computer. So we need to have implementation which is able to resist uh, in, in order to protect our, uh, our. So now let's see here the solution which is available right now. We have a PQC and we have a QKD. PQC is a post-quantum cybersecurity. The nature of this solution is a classical one. But the thing is that they are going to design in a way that they are, uh, they are going to um, secure against us from the quantum attack. It's because we know there is some uh, some feature of the quantum, so based on that, we are going to uh, implement in a way that we are going to be uh, secure against it. Against it. There are these kind of algorithm, they are using the complex uh, complex mathematical problem, which don't, knows that it's difficult for the quantum computer to break it. And also, uh, the thing is that this is an attempt to ensure that our data is going to be secure. Another solution is the QKD. QKD is a quantum key distribution. The base uh, and the nature of this solution is a quantum. This is the hardware-based quantum solution in order to secure our keys. They, uh, they use the, uh, this QKD use the quantum mechanism in order to detect any uh, EVA dropping attempt and also is provide uh, unconditional uh, security. As I mentioned, there is some uh, quantum property like super, uh, superposition, entanglement, and observation. Based on that feature, we know that, okay, the QKD is uh, unconditionally secure. So I'm going to explain more about the PQC here. Uh, the, uh, which is uh, PQC is going to be enhance our security. It's going to be secure against the at, uh, quantum attack. This means that we are resistant to both classical and quantum computers. Another feature is that the compatibility. So the nature of the PQC is a classical. So that means that we could easily integrate our solution to the existing uh, infrastructure, which is now is classical. So we don't need the quantum hardware. We don't require the hardware of the quantum. And also scalability. The PQC are, uh, we can deploy over any distance. And this feature of the PQC give, uh, give the adaptation. We are able to adapt this, uh, this algorithm to any application we want. Uh, there is an organization called NIST, the National Institute of the Standard and Technology in the U.S. They, on 2016, they launched, uh, they launched the developing and standard, standard algorithm in order to have a quantum resistant cryptography. The, uh, the aim of this uh, institute is find the, um, to find a secure algorithm in the quantum area. But just like last month, they announced three final standard uh, PQC solution, which they think that, okay, they are, um, they are protecting us against the quantum threat. Here I'm going to talk more about the QKD, which we are saying that QKD is an un un uh, unbreakable encryption. 
The QKD use the quantum uh, particle like photon in order to secure our, uh, our transmission of the, our keys. So the things that, as you see in the figure, Alice and Bob is going to be as a, uh, going to uh, exchange their, their, their data. And this, uh, once the, if they want to attempt and read the key, the Alice and Bob immediately detect the EVA dropping because of the feature, as we mentioned, that the quantum property has like superposition, entanglement, and observation. And, and, and the things that if they, uh, if uh, Alice and Bob is detect the EVA dropping, they could immediately discard the key and then create the key um, again from the scratch. So I'm going to explain more detail how QKD works here. One of the examples I'm consider BB84 protocol here. As you see, Alice and Bob is going to create the, the key uh, from here. At the beginning, Alice is uh, the girl from this side. Alice is going to prepare the random bit uh, based on the message they want to, to send it to the Bob. And also, Alice is prepared the random base uh, uh, for, uh, random base uh, of the like the rectangular or orthogonal uh, orthogonal and then they are going to uh, uh, transfer the bit to the qubit and then send it to the bob on the other si side bob is going to be randomly select the measurement base and then they are going to measure uh, measure it and then uh, save the data in a bit in, in the other side and after that, Alice and Bob is going to be publicly announce their result and compare the result. And then they see that if some of them is mismatching, they are like discarded, and the, res uh, and the remain result could be the, the key bit at the end line as you see it. So based on the, this uh, result, then they are going to create the, the key. But it is important to note that if somebody read the data, then they are going to change the um, uh, change the, the the change it. So in that case, once this change it, then Alice and Bob could check it and see that okay is, is mismatching. And then in that case, they could immediately detect it. Okay, some eva dropping happening in that case. And then they discard all the key and create the key again from the scratch. Now let's see uh, why we are using the quantum cybersecurity. At, uh, as I mentioned, the QKD is unconditional secure. So we are like based on this uh, quantum mechanic and we are ensured that we are uh, secure against the quantum, uh, quantum uh, attack. And also unlike the classical cryptography, we are seeing that uh, we are remain secure even we are advancing with the quantum computer. Like if we're uh, developing the quantum computer in uh, like high level of the qubit, we are like even in that case, if we have a QKD, we are sure that we are secure. And also detecting the real time eva dropping since because of the feature of the quantum, immediately we can detect it. And also the things that in this uh, methodology, each key, is each key is a unique, and they're going to discard it after use. And this is the reason why our communication remains safe. And also QKD is a uh, complementary to the PQC in order to enhance our security. Here I'm going to talk about the limitation of each uh, solution solution of the QKD and solution of the PQC. As I mentioned, QKD is a uh, quantum base and this is based on the, uh, based on the hardware. So that's why they require the uh, special hardware like sing single photon detection and this is high, uh, highly costly and also complex. And extending this kind of network for us is going to be challenging, complex and costly. Uh, the thing is that uh, there is a limitation in the distance for the QKD because uh, like QKD could going to work in just a few hundred kilometers. That's, the, uh, that's why uh, we still need to be develop, uh, uh, develop it. For example, in, the, in order to solve this problem, they use the quantum repeater, but the thing is that still this technology is going to be in progress. And also the thing, uh, the thing is that QKD, uh, uh, in order to generate the key, they are generating uh, the key slowly, and this is make challenging in the high speed of the data transfi transition. 
Uh, in order for the standardization and interoperability, as I mentioned, there are a lot of uh, uh, companies like working on the creating the quantum computer, and also there is different protocol. I mentioned I explained BB84. Also, there is different protocol. Uh, which is available, and also there is different methodology in the quantum, like polarization, phases, spin phase, spin photon, different. So we don't have nowadays the standard uh, for the, our strategy and our uh, technology. So that's the reason we have the interoperability problem. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk about now the limitation of the PQC. The PQC uh, uh, is a classical computer, but the thing is that uh, PQC are less efficient than the normal classic because the key uh, is uh, normally large, and sometimes they require the large key in order to have the um, uh, have the security, and this may cause the reduce the performance of the PQC. And also, uh, in order to, uh, there is a challenging to, uh, to select the PQC, uh, which algorithm is really useful for our, our application. It's difficult to balance in between the security and the, uh, and the computational efficiency. So is now is like really challenging and interoperability problem. As I mentioned, NIST is announced three, uh, last final uh, standard one, but is still ensuring that uh, which one is like uh, is going to work at a different platform and uh, uh, different uh, application is going to be challenging. And in the PQC, we have also interoperability, interoperability because uh, like integrating the, these uh, solution to our current in infrastructure is going to be challenging and and. It's like nobody used just only single um, st standard solution to see that, okay, we have universal solution. So that's the reason we use the hybrid, uh, hybrid system solution. In this hybrid solution, we use both Q PQC and QKD, and we are combining it. So as a result, we will have protect our data both from the classical and from uh, um, quantum uh, part of it. In this uh, hybrid system, we use QKD in order to exchange our, uh, our keys, but from the, uh, from the classical part or the, from the PQC part, we are using for the large scale data, which now, based on that, we are optimizing that the performance and res res uh, source of our usage. Uh, and also uh, in the in the hybrid system, we are combine the security of the QKD and scalability and efficiency of the PQC, and then is like making it easy to us to integrate our solution in the current uh, in the current infrastructure. So now I'm going to talk about the investment which is now in the quantum research. Uh, as you see in the figure. Uh, there is a 36 billion uh, investment uh, on 2023 is on the quantum research and innovation, and the Euro uh, European Union is in the second row, which is 8.3 billion, and they are going to uh, expect it to be reached 106 billion on 2040. Uh, and also in the European Union, Union they uh, initiated the program like, uh, called Flagship, which is a 1 billion euro to initiate the advance, advance of the quantum technology and the strategy in the quantum. So now initiating the uh, initiative in the quantum research and innovation. The United uh, Nations they call the next year the International Year of the Quantum Science and Technology because of the importance of this uh, topic and to uh, make the awareness on the public, they, they do this one, to promote the quantum uh, research, collaboration, innovation in the, in this, in the old industry and the, in the government. And also uh, EuroQCI, which is a European quantum communication infrastructure, they launched it on 2019, and the major goal is build the quantum communication network through the Europe. And uh, they are going to enhance the cybersecurity, the data protection using this quantum technology. And also there is different kind of project which is not now available. For example, flagship, as I mentioned, in order to uh, work on the cryptography and the communication. And the Europe, uh, Europe they put the priority in the, on quantum technology in order to focus on the strategy of this topic. 
Uh, this is uh, one project from the EuroQCI, one of the demonstrations they, they did it just um, on October. As you see in the figure, we have like different country, uh, and each country have a different vendors. As you see, there is a box, QKD box on the uh, bottom. There are different, uh, also QKD. Each boxes, they are using different um, strategy, different uh, algorithm, different method. Even uh, the base of the quantum of each is different. So that is the reason we have the lack of standardization in this. So we are, the, the problem is that we have an interoperability issue among the different vendors. So as you see in the figure, Alice and Bob is like communicating and exchanging the key based on the QCI number one, but Bob and Jill is communicating on, uh, based on the QCI number two. But the problem is here that since each of them is using different strategy, different algorithm, different vendors, the problem, Alice and Jill could not communicate it to each other because of uh, lack of the standardization. So our objective and purpose uh, in our startup is like working um, uh, of interoperability issue and like uh, ensuring that we have, uh, we addressing this problem and we are like uh, making one universal adapter for C, for uh, this problem to, to solve it. So as a summary, we are saying that the evolution of the computer, uh, quantum computer, needs the new uh, cr uh, cryptography solution in, or in order to ensure that the our data is uh, secure. And QKD and PQC is one of the key tools we, uh, we needed for protect us from the uh, quantum computer. The challenges which we are like currently uh, we have it uh, addressing the interoperability, the high cost, the complexity of the system, uh, and also integrating the current solution in the uh, current, uh, in the, this, mm, and uh, into, um, integrating it to the current uh, infrastructure. And as a future, we are going to develop uh, the standardization and a scalable of our solution in our digital infrastructure. And I would like to thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please. Thank you, Samira. Fortunately, uh, nobody right now is saving massive amounts of data in data centers to decrypt it in the future. Nobody is doing that. Just a question on the QHarmony stuff. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of how much we messed up previously just harmonizing or trying to understand and uh, convert protocols. So, and I also see it as an, uh, an additional attack surface and complication. What, what's your perspective on that? Uh, how is that going to, does it work across all the different vendors' implementations? Uh, will it work? This is that uh, about the um, proposed solution and our objective. Uh, is that uh, we are not like, um, because as I mentioned, there are like different vendors that are using the different uh, QKD, and this is like the hardware uh, they are like considered. But the solution which we are like considering is like the software part, because uh, the hardware part, they need to be uh, changed on the, on the base part. But the thing is, after the creating the key, we are like thinking to able to universally uh, uh, adapt and have it one universal solution, which if somebody, uh, if somebody put our solution in their, in their system, they're in the box of the QKD, then they are able to communicate it without any problem. So for getting the keys from the QKD, there is already a standard, etc 14 which is implemented by all the, all the vendors nowadays. So uh, what uh, she was presenting earlier is about the protocol between Alice and Bob. That, that one is not standardized, but when accessing the keys, there is a standard, and nowadays all the vendors are expanding. So any software we are, you are developing can be moved to any of the and vendors. about the layer light. Anyone else? No? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>